Howdy folks, Maxwell McGee here, coming to you with another episode of Now Playing. With me on the couch today, Carolyn Pitt. Did that bring, little, bring a little too much thunder for you? A little time? bit. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that. It is 2 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. Yeah. And what, is it Wednesday? It is a Wednesday. It's too much excitement for yeah, a yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, save it up for, for July 4th. That's save it up right. For Friday. The holidays are coming up. That's right. It's almost, almost time to light some fireworks and... <laughs> And barbecue some stuff. That's right, the we're gonna American light, way. We're going to light some fireworks of our own. I like that. Here. I like that. I was wondering where you were going to lead in, me with that. In but. Zombies, Monsters, monsters robots. robots. Zombies, Monsters, Robots, the game that you're seeing on your screen right now, is a free to play competitive, cooperative third person shooter that is in open beta now. You can actually go play it right now, or you can hang out and watch me play it for the next hour or so. Oh, God. What have I, I signed up what for? I didn't sign up for this. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this. So um, I'm just going to jump right in. Yeah, so I have it. to say, like, uh, this is the first time I'm seeing Zombies, Monsters, Robots. Mm -hmm. It's a title that I've heard uh, bandied about The Office. Okay. Because, uh, you know, you, you, you have games that have zombies, you have games that have monsters, That's games right. with robots, but rarely do you come to a, do you come across a game that has zombies, monsters, and robots? I mean, you may have robot zombies. You may, yes. You may have monster zombies. Sure. You may have, what's the other combination the, then? Monsters, robots? Monst sure. But see, so uh, with a title that. Like this dude. With a title that goofy, yeah. I was expecting a game that initially looked kind of goofy also. Mm -hmm. Not, this game looks like a serious. This game. This game takes itself seriously. It's serious business. And we are going to spawn in. So I'm actually pretty sure yeah. I can either wait and see if my team makes it to the next wave, which they might. I mean, they might. Or I can go ahead and spend one of my one-up tokens, oh. you notice down there in the corner. Of course. I can cash one of those in to revive myself and join the game immediately. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, because I've got 43 of them. I've also got some sweet SWAT gear because I wanted to look like the coolest kid on the playground. So I spent some in-game currency and got myself these sweet digs. Okay, so, so obviously this is a free-to-play game. Very much so. Uh, so. You can press the F button to totally melee dudes. Now, so you said it's it's competitive and cooperative. Yeah. So, so you're. So right now we are we're playing we're playing PV, cooperative PVE right now. Um, there is a separate there's like a whole separate set of lobbies for player versus player that we'll check out later. Um, but yeah, the PVP or the PVE rather so far has just been a lot of. Shoot your way through waves of enemies okay. and complete, you know, okay. objectives. So in 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 this uh, battle that we're currently witnessing, there are, as far as I can tell, yeah. no zombies, no monsters, Holy cow. and no robots. Are you blowing this game wide open? I mean, I'm just saying. You just blew this game wide I, open. I'm just Caroline? saying is all. You Look, know. I think later on, yeah, we may see a few robots. You, okay. Sadly, yeah. I do not believe there are any zombies or monsters, or I guess. <laughs> That's another thing. Yeah. Let's just hold on a second. Okay. What is the difference yeah. between a monster and a zombie? Well, are I, zombies I mean, I agree not that, monsters? Well... Let's go ahead. Let's just get let's this just out get of the way it. right now. This is a philosophical debate. Benito has yeah, very that, good that points that exactly we're about to my, touch on. My thought is that zombies are... Are they a classification of monster, or are they their own separate? Yeah, I don't know if I consider un undead humans monsters. Like when I hear the term monster, I think of something like a something that looks more like a like a cave troll from a you know like a Lord of the Rings movie okay. or something. Like something that's kind of not not so, not a human, not so human. Anyway, it can be humanoid. Yeah. But it but, has to be further from like a normal human form than a zombie is. No, I, I mean, are you talking purely in the physical shape of the monster, or does it have something to do with the fact that zombies were once human? I, I don't know, because I, I guess I would say that a werewolf is a monster. Okay. And that you know, werewolves are were once human. True. But I feel like the form they can that also they go take, back to being. Human. Uh, yeah, but I feel like while they're werewolves. To me, that's that is a kind of monster. But for, for whatever reason, a zombie is just like an undead human, and that to me does not a zom a monster make. Ooh, 
Ooh, oh, yeah. that's a good idea. Uh, I'm not sure. All right. I'm pretty sure I'm not... I would not be able to look that up without having to leave my game. But as I have just started, I could go ahead and leave if people would want to join. I guess I will go ahead and do that. I will abandon my team and therefore waste that revival token. Okay, right. All right, so where am I? Let's, oh my God, look at all of this. So basically, if you log on uh -huh. and you choose player versus environment, cooperative yes. PVE, uh -huh. you'll see a list of servers. One of them is labeled as busy. The rest of them are pretty much open. Okay. I'm in the busy one. I'm in the one that everybody else is in at the very top of the list. So if you join that one, it'll bring you to this screen. So from PVE, busy server, it'll bring you to this screen. Okay. And then I am just going to check show available only. And we'll take a look here. I was doing big damn heroes. Ooh, looks like they're having some trouble now that I left. So I'm gonna try to get in on, help this poor guy out for one out of five. Um, but I'll be in this one, this Slimid, Slimiday. Uh-huh. That'll be my room. Your room, Slim, Slim D. Me and this lady right here. What's up, uh, one up level seven guy? Uh, I of course am playing as Big Hank. Uh, Noodle Legs in the in the chat asks, where do the one up tokens come from? Okay, so the account that I'm playing on right now uh -huh. is a, it's not like a special account the developers gave me or whatever. I just went to play zmr.com. Yeah. Okay, playzmr.com. And, yes, and just create an account just like any of you would out there. Uh -huh. And basically after you do, there's like a couple of tutorial missions. Um, and after you finish all, man, she's just in there all by herself. After you finish the, uh, like three or four of the tutorial missions, it'll give you a sort of like one-up coin redemption token. Okay. And then you just go into your inventory, you redeem that, and it gives you a whole bunch of one-up tokens. I started with 50 and I've used a couple of them as you can see. Yeah. Um, I'm not, after that, I imagine you, would either unlock them over time or would have to go into the shop to buy some. Right. Um, I'm almost certain you can go into the shop and buy some. I'm just not sure how else you would earn them, but we will investigate that further after we finish this. All right, so. Oh, and there's some robots. Those are, yeah. Robots, Those spider look, creatures. Yeah. I'm gonna jump in and help her out. Big Hank on the scene, and we've also got Tonka. Tonka trucks, Tonka power. One thing I do kind of like about the way this, oh, we're coming in this backwards. Actually, this, so I played this once before, and this was actually the extraction point. A helicopter came down to this helipad, and we sure. got out. Now we're coming in, in the bridge. That's interesting. One thing I do kind of like is everything is on the space bar. Going into cover is on the space bar. Yeah. Also, rolling is on the space bar. Um, holding down the space bar makes you run. Um, so all of your main, you can also quick turn by pressing back in the space bar. Sometimes when you're good at it. Uh, Ammo pickups are on the ground. Sorry, go ahead. No, so people are asking about the, uh, like, what your impression is of the free-to-play model here. Someone asked, um, you know, is it is it pay to win? You know, how much or how much if you do just jump in and want to play without mm -hmm. spending money? How much are you limited? You know, by that. I mean, right now, so I'm not sure if this is how it'll be in the final game, but since the game is an open beta, basically when I created my account, in addition to getting this token for all the different revival coins, they also gave me a substantial amount of in-game currency. Um, so, like, right away, like, I was able to buy this ridiculous SWAT outfit. I bought this shotgun that I have with me. I bought a couple of weapon mods and stuff. I was able to buy a whole bunch of stuff right away. Uh -huh. So if you just want to go in and check it out, you're not going to be bottlenecked right up front. Um, Beyond that, I would imagine it quickly gets pretty dicey. <laughs> um, but again, that's just something that's something we'll see for ourselves here in just a bit. Um, but I mean, at least I've played it for a couple of hours, yeah. basically. And so far, the game has been pretty generous with its giveaways. Now, whether or not that's going to hold true once they come out of open beta remains. Yeah. Um, but it actually does. I'm not. It'll be interesting to see if all of my equipment carries over into PvP. Because I, like I said, I bought some some, some higher level weapons and weapon mods and stuff, um, and that's all available in the store. Like you can use your in-game currency. You can go in there. We were looking at it before the stream started, and they've got all manner of high-powered weapons and weapon mods and special ammo types and things for you to pay real money dollars for. Um, 
But again, that might be something that's only limited to player versus environment and not available in PvP, but we will see. Um, but if that is the case, if it is available in PvP, then it is a very much pay-to-win kind of scenario. Oh, it's this room. We're going to be in this room for a while, by the way. Ah, okay. Things, things, in this game, things in this that. game take a long time to complete. Yeah. There are, these waves are long and grueling. That guy. I'm going to try to work on this window. Oh, well, I guess we're all done with the window. I hope we just finish the room after I complain about how long it's going to take. F button. Something else that's kind of neat, though, is you can also, even if you don't go out and buy a whole bunch of weapons, uh -huh. you can also pick up weapons off the ground. Okay. You don't keep them after the mission's over, but it's fun to kind of mix it up yeah. as you're going through. These flamethrower guys are a barrel of fun. Um, <laughs> their flamethrowers actually look way more intimidating than they really are. Right. Um, they're more of just sort of the idea of a flamethrower <laughs> rather than a real lethal. You get a cone of fire. Once this is out, I'll drop it and it'll be gone forever. Holy burn up these dudes coming out of this monster closet. Ooh. One of the enemies is putting the smoke down on yeah. me, trying to confuse everything. Thankfully, I don't believe there's any friendly fire, right, or at least say. I haven't noticed any, because yeah. I'm just not being careful right now. <laughs> Just having a real hard time lining up those sniper shots. Me clowning around over here. These shield guys are the worst. Extremely hard to kill. Somebody had it actually involves a little bit of teamwork to bring them down. Oh, not going what? in there. No. Eh, bah, bah, bah. No. Uh -uh. Pri eh, private eh, property. Eh. Okay. Not happening. Employees only. Employees only. Sky Mile Plus members may use the airport lounge. <laughs> not. Nades. Carolyn, did we come to a consensus uh -huh. on our zombie robot debate, monster, zombie monster debate? Well, I don't know if, if a consensus can be reached here. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of us will have to probably agree to disagree. I mean, this is just something, you know, my gut just tells me that zombies are not, are not monsters. I mean, I have always believed uh -huh. a zombie to be a monster. Okay. They are a, a monstrous thing. Mm -hmm. They certainly, they, they're, a, they're So I, I've always equated them? Sure. They're monsters? Yeah. I mean, they're monsters. They're, they're monstrous. What if, okay, what about this? What about this? What about this? What if you had yeah. a zombie bear? Okay, well. That was a zomb zombified yeah. okay. bear. You're really getting me to think about this question in, in exciting new ways. You're kind of challenging my, some new dimensions. my whole philosophy here. Get into that worldview and, and, and just change mix my it up. zombie worldview. Um, we need to cross the catwalks and access the door. I would, I would certainly, I would say a zombie, be a, a zombie bear. Okay. Yeah, that would be that. That would qualify as a monster for me, definitely. Okay. But I mean, that's I guess bears are already all oh. pretty close to being Whoa. monsters. Whoa! I mean, if I Whoa. see, if I'm like on a camping trip or whatever, yeah. and I see a bear, I'm like, oh shit! What is that? <laughs> what is that monster I over know. there? Look at that monster! It's a monstrous oh. yes. creature. A monstrous yeah. thing. So is it a is it a once human always human kind of thing then? Well, hmm. I, I don't want to I don't know about that because I do feel like a human could maybe be mutated into Ooh. into a monster. True. Um, GI yeah, Joe over here just taking. Yeah, like I mean, like so so for instance in 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 The Last of Us, mm -hmm. you have some enemies the, that's like. Right. They have that, that, that bacteria, plant, yeah, fungal. The, yeah, the fun, yeah, and the fungus thing. And I forget what they're called, but there is like a particular type that's like really like large and formidable. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, to me like that, that would be a monster. Like the, those are monsters, but. You are pretty, pretty far removed from your human shell at that point. Yeah. Apparently, don't care too much. Mace guy always cares. He always wants to come well at every opportunity. 
That is a that is a mean looking mace. So uh, just to answer the question from Eaxis Roy mm -hmm. in the chat, we are playing. Oh, yeah. For anyone who uh, may have joined us late, we are playing Zombies, Monsters, Robots. Zombies, Monsters, Robots, which yeah. is now in open beta. Yes. You can check it out now at playzmr.com. And we have opened the door and made it across the catwalk. I'm gonna grab aim like to teleport you to the area that the rest of your party is if you fall too far behind. I like that maneuver your guy does when he starts getting shot and you're out of cover. Uh-huh. The duck the head down like this. <laughs> I feel like really, it probably would not be that much. Maybe because I've got the helmet on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It oh, might yeah, have a like, bit of benefit. Right. But if you're just running around and the bullets are flying, <laughs> knocking your head down is not really going to be that So this is sort of a two-pronged attack by the enemies here. These little guys are going to pretty much infinitely come out of this door while guys flank us on the sides. I'm going to keep forgetting to do active reload. This game very much has, oh, actually went down. Yeah, it definitely has that, the, you know, Gears of War-esque active reload thing going on. Uh -oh. oh, they are chowing down on me real good. Mm. Actually, most, oh, look at my dead suicide. I have seen too much. Oh, no. That's actually surprising. Most of the time, whenever I get killed, I just get killed outright. Maybe if you, if you get taken down by a melee attack, you go into a down state. Because when you're in a down state, somebody can run up and revive you, and you don't right. have to cash in one of your sweet survival tokens. Yeah. To do so. So that's it. You're out of the mode at that point, unless you, you use a revival token? You're out of the mode. Uh, it seems like you're out of the mode either until you use a revival token right. or your team, like, until this happens, basically. Okay. And your team sort of advances to the next thing. I see. Um, but that can take a very, very long time. Um, now, as far as the active reload goes, do you know if... Um... And the game... Well, hold on. One more thing yeah, to that. No, the please. game will actually... It will also auto-boot you if you're dead for too long. Yeah. Um, just so you know, somebody else who actually wants to play can come in and try their luck. But what can happen is, is if your team's super slow and you're waiting to... You know, you don't want to spend your token and you're just waiting to be revived, you can get auto-booted before they reach the next checkpoint and would have automatically brought you back to life. Which is... Unfortunate when it happens. I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, frequent viewer of uh, GameSpot live streams, mm -hmm. Bob Jones. Ah, uh, Bob Jones is, is now in there with you. Good to see oh, you. Oh wait, again. Bob got kicked. Oh, okay. Well, uh, he's a real son of a bee, so probably <laughs> for the best. We'll see you soon, Bob. Maybe I don't know. What did he do? Did he even do anything, or did he just get I, kicked on sight? I'm not really sure. He's friend of friend of the chat. Yeah, Bob Jones. yeah, absolutely. Oh man, somebody is bringing the heat. That guy. You get. Oh, I just I threw a frag on top of us and did uh, not melee that guy. That was my bad. Oh, he died, and you didn't save him. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Apparently he, he had a, a John McClane look going on for what the, the time he was in, in the game, sporting a tank top and oh. whatnot. Um, Unfortunately, that is like the, the default. That is the default character look, is the tank top and sweet blue jeans. Okay. Um, Cause who doesn't love a tank top and sweet yeah. blue jeans? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I probably got him mixed up with literally everybody else. I believe my character, oh no, no, my character's name is Big Hank. You see Big Hank? Oh good, it's this. Oh. oh good, it's this robot. I That's love this robot. He's my favorite. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. <laughs> no <Metal> machines. <laughs> this robot's got lots of red bits on it. Yeah. You know what you do with those red you bits? You shoot the red bits. Oh, you shoot them. The you shoot bits. the red bits up real good. We'll worry about the glowing yellow tube sticking out of the ground here in just a second. All right. Right now we got to shoot these red bits and turn them into orange bits. I believe the guy on the radio is yelling at us to oh, dodge the uh, dodge the missiles, dodge the missiles, and lightly get pelted with shotguns or with machine guns. Right. <laughs> just a light smattering. Just a light, just a, a, a little like a, 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 a little massage, a really. Dash. Yeah, it's like a little massage of <laughs> machine gun fire. All right, so we've got the machine gun. Oh, yeah, oh, dang nabbit. Okay, so 
This is the uh, the one hit kill laser. Ouch. Everybody shit. stand behind the cylinders to not get incinerated by the one hit kill laser. Right. And now, oh, this guy knows what to do. He's on the money. He is on the money. He's got the yellow too. Oh, you got, yeah. yeah. Oh, we hit its weak point for massive damage. We did. And now we're going to do that about eight more times. Yeah. Except we don't have to do the machine gun round anymore because we broke the machine gun. So now it's just the missile round and then the smaller missile round. There's the main missile. Here they come. And really at this point, there's nothing. You can keep shooting at the robot. Okay. But there's really no point to it because. So these missile turrets, as you can see, they get destroyed. Yeah. But that just stops them from shooting missiles that round. Okay. So they will auto repair yeah, yeah, in yeah. the next cycle. So um, it's basically just a matter of waiting until the until the weak point. Yeah, until the weak point shows back up. Yeah. And using the uh, the rocket too. As this guy, this guy is so on top of it. He's been here before. That he's gonna wink at us. That. We're doing pretty good though. Yeah, no, we got it's a like lot one of more, maybe one more round. I think the last time I did this actually, it was like me and two other people, and that's uh -huh. probably why it took so long. Yeah. This time we got a we got a full compliment. Here come the missiles again. Out of the way like that. Again, everything's on space bar. Very convenient. I always forget about the particle. Later. The guy also comes on the radio every time and goes, Avoid the particle laser! <laughs> Grab some cover! <laughs> Good thing you have such a capable CO. I know. He is on top of it. Yeah. He's on the ball. Oh, yeah, come on, come on, it? come on. Are we going to do get it? it? Get it, yeah. All right. Now, you might think, oh, good. Yeah, it's over. We Victory. did it. Yes. But no. No. Not by a long shot. Oh. We're excellent. like halfway through. Okay. Turn to the LZ. That's right. Because we're done. Good, good work, boys. We're, done. we're bringing we're you going home. home. We're pulling the troops out and we're going home. Got some more ammo. A mission accomplished. I'm, of course, using the, oh, what is it? I'm going to call it the FAMAS, the Frank Adams Memorial Assault Rifle. Oh, the Frank Adams Memorial Assault Rifle. Right. We love you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy is bringing up heavy stack. Cut off the evac. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Shooting dudes in the hallway. Sweet desert camo blue camouflage guns guy up here. It looks a lot cooler than I do. Do you have a sweet gas mask? <laughs> All I've got Stand is this, I got this your... stupid SWAT helmet. It's a lot yeah. better than this dude. Wait, is this Bob Jones? Maybe. Uh, is he back in? I don't know if he's back in. I don't know. Bob, did Bob Jones tell us what his name was? Uh, if he did, in I missed game? it, unfortunately. Oh. That is you, Bob. You're doing the Lord's work. Oh, grenaded us. Throw some grenades and back up slowly. I've got a lot of grenades. Oh, oh, hey, does this turn fire? Oh, wait, you can make him bleed. You can make him bleed. If it bleeds. Carolyn. Yeah. I know this may be a bit of a stretch. Okay. Does, does this game remind you of anything? Mind me. <laughs> so I'll tell you, there have been one or two comparisons in the chat to yeah. to Gears of War. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say there's definitely a, mm -hmm. you know, a touch. A little touch. Just a, a smidgen. Mm -hmm. Some inspiration taken, perhaps. Sure, sure. To Gears of War. Um, sadly, I have not seen any chainsaws or guns with chainsaw attachments, though I do believe I can buy, like, a Bowie knife attachment for one of my guns. Okay. So that's, you know, that's something. Um, Bob, so just so you know, uh, oh, oh. Bob Jones' we have a Bob Jones name update? in the game yeah. was Bob Jones 1980. Oh, of course it was. Yeah. I like those monsters because they look like they explode in confetti. Well, if he comes back, we'll be sure. So you're not Bob Jones. This Bob Jones impersonator. Yeah, you want to go? You want to dance? He didn't want to dance. Optional Zero Pretty asking, cool. is this a free-to-play co-op game or something? Whoa! Uh, wow, you are a keen right on the money, observer. Actually. You nailed it. You nailed it, Optional Zero. But it not is... only is it co-op. Yes. It is also player versus player, as we will see. Yes. As soon as we complete the rest of the equation. 
Also, this is definitely one of the longer, I think the, no, the elevator is almost here. We're waiting for this elevator to come down. The game will actually, it'll just keep spawning enemies uh -huh. um, until somebody gets on the elevator. So we could just hang out here forever if we really wanted to and shoot you, bad guys as they come down the hallway. So are you earn, earning any oh, yeah. kind of, uh, I guess, in-game currency as you as you take out these monsters? Or, or I'm definitely points? earning experience points. Okay. Um, there is a leveling system, and that will also, as you level up, the game will reward you with different uh, weapons and items and, and okay. different unlocks. I know there's a... Uh, I think I actually unlocked the shotgun that I paid money for at level 3 or 4. Um, so that was... Perhaps not the wisest investment on my part, <laughs> um, but yeah, you do love them. Um, I don't know if you're earning uh, like the uh, the currency per se as you play, but you are right. definitely rewarded some upon. Elevator, get the hell out of here! Stay on the elevator. Thanks, boss. Remember Admiral Hackett? No, do you ever play any of the? I was gonna say Metal Gear. Do you ever play any of the Mass Effect, like the co-op multiplayer? I actually didn't play the co-op multiplayer. Oh, we did Admiral so much Hackett fun. bark commands he at would, you? He would get on the radio, and he would never help with anything. He would just yell at you to go pick things up and move them around, or to hack the data point, yeah, or yeah, to do yeah. whatever. And I would play it with my friends, and we would always just, just friggin' Admiral Hackett. You know, it's, it sounds real easy when you're up there in the spaceship in orbit or whatever <laughs> to go take the node or to pick up the thing and carry it to the other thing, but he doesn't know what it's like. He doesn't know what it's like on the ground. No, no, exactly. Get down here and get, get your hands dirty. That's right. Hack it. We're dealing with reapers down here. And banshees. Banshee reapers. They scream at you and impale you unless you're playing as the Jeff Juggernaut. Farzonius says that, uh, suggests that it's, it's easy to miss the Gears of War inspiration because it is carefully and delicately woven That's into, the, right. into the original work of art. It is the unique <laughs> zombies, monsters, robots. Oh. Um, you know, I will neither confirm nor disconfirm. Um, Skrill asking, is this more of a co-op game or a multiplayer deathmatch? It's both. It's both. It's two, it two, literally two has games in one. Multiplayer deathmatch yes. in it, which yes. we will see. There's actually also one of the things that, that's new and that I do want to check out before we finish up is there is a... Uh, Gosh, he's, well, you're he's looking so, over. What the hell? Why are you doing the head down thing while that's you're up hilarious. there? Just shoot him. <laughs> if you wanted to put your head down, just get back in cover. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, there is that a, was great. There is a class-based multiplayer mode yeah. that uses different... So instead of just using like your whatever character with his whatever loadout, yeah. there are different classes with special abilities. Um, and there's like a team... There's a team zombies and a team humans and yada yada yada, and we'll check that out in just okay. a second. I think that's that's actually a recent addition. What's up, spider dude? Get wrecked. I will say, much to my disappointment, I mean, we were talking about the Gears of War inspiration. Oh, yeah. Sadly, when your characters do go down, yeah. they do not yell, REVIVE ME! Aw, oh, man. Um, you can crawl around a little bit, as we, I did a little bit of crawling around, but sadly, no, no guttural revive me is to be found. Now, the last time I did this, the game, really put the screws to us right here at the very end because it knew we were about to get up on the path and just started infinitely spawning gigantic dudes just out of thin air to oh, block is that, our way. Is that your escape helicopter? That is our escape helicopter up all right, there. All right. One of us just needs to get to it okay. and we'll be done. So I'm going to go ahead and make the mad dash for it. Although sweet desert... Uh -oh. See, this is what it starts to uh -oh. do. This is what it starts to do. All right, we're in the yellow. In the yellow. Oh, we're going for it. We're going no, for it. No, damn it, no. No. Oh, but somebody else somebody got it. Somebody made it. Somebody okay. made it. My right. sacrifice was not in vain. Okay. Made it to the helicopter. Does it do the, I like the, you know, I like the left for dead thing where you, some people can make it and That's others right. won't. They'll fly off. They'll yeah. name a school after exactly. me. Exactly. I always say that. Oh, yeah. Name an elementary school yeah. after me. Just, you know, um, just carry on my legacy. Because yeah, exactly. we all have to go at some point. Hey, you were promoted to target dummy. Here we go. So I'm no Congrats. longer an intern. I'm now target dummy. Yeah. I get the LMG fiberglass stock, but for three days. Don't. Okay. No, no, no. Don't, Don't go, go nuts. Okay. Don't go nuts over here. Just get to, you're, get to test drive it. We've got the silver bullet as well. I wonder what that is. And also, so 3,500 gold. That is the that is the not real money in-game currency. That right. Is the normal accruement in-game currency. I also have a mission that I completed oh, okay. and All I right. unlocked this gun turret. 
Mission Punch the Clock. I guess that had something to do with Mayhem. Press V to set down. Uh, Statman Snake asking, this game on PS4? No, it is uh, only on, on the PC. Personal computer. Yes, personal computer entertainment system. Right. Um, so a few calls for the Mercs versus Monsters mode. Right, I think that was the one I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, we're going to oh, take a quick break. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to go ahead. I'll switch over the servers and whatever to get to the appropriate mode that you guys wanted to see. But we'll be right back. We're Welcome back. back! Whoa! See, that wasn't so bad. While you were gone, we switched over to the Mercs versus Monsters mode, and as you can see, I'm oh. a spooky monster. You are. I am. Oh, I'm also. So let's see. This is the best walk animation. Look at how good this is. <laughs> it's like a Hugo He's walk a kind from of, Street yeah. Fighter. Ah. Uh, oh, but I don't have my roll. I guess because I'm a All right. So I believe this is like the lowest level. Uh, Zombie. This is the Zombie Trooper. Yeah, I believe it's called. Um, I'm not sure this is actually my first time in Mercs vs. Monsters. I'm familiar with the concept. Get this robot. And I died. Ooh, I died yeah, you like down. Real, real fast. All right, I have nope. That would cost zero points for this. I have a thousand. Oh, that, that took too long. Let's get out here and see if we can do a little bit better this time. Do I have any kind of stuff? It doesn't really. Look good. Is that a player that that uh Is this our robot or a bad guy robot? Go ahead and wail on it a little bit. Oh no, his name's in red. We're gonna wail on him. Although maybe, maybe he's our buddy. This guy doesn't seem to be our buddy. Be a dog this time. I have explosive suicide. I'm down with that. Oh, uh, look at how awesome this is! This is pretty great. Oh, oh. I blew my Okay, okay. You oops. So Carolyn. Yes, Max. What happened there? Talk us through what happened. Fun fact. Yes. Alternate fire mm -hmm. is the explosive suicide <laughs> <Okay>. build. <laughs> Fun fact. Oh, look at this dude. He is trucking. All right. So, at first I thought, okay, ah. the green dots are going to be my friends. The red dots are going to be my enemies. I'm going to look to the radar because it looked like I was getting shot at by a monster, and I had just assumed that all monsters were friends and all robots were enemies. This we do. Dead. Let me get in here and see if I can blow up on somebody. Maybe this guy. Hey, buddy. I'm sure he found that entertaining, hopefully. Let's try a different guy. This exploding dog isn't working out. Alright, we've got Archery Dude. I think I can handle that. Archery Dude with sweet shields. Looks like what is the what does the HUD tell you, Karen? What is our goal? What, uh, what do you okay. see? Okay. Well, I see I see some points. I see kills yeah. being uh, tracked. So I would imagine kills are valuable. Play until you hit the kill threshold. Oh, who shot me? Going back to Trooper. Oh, look at this dude! I wonder if these points are shared across the entire team, or if they're just for me. Right. Now this is the best run animation. <laughs> I know earlier amazing. we thought that, that other run fantastic. animation was the best run animation, but this one is actually the best. You guys have the right idea. Let's see now. This this oh, is damn. more yes. what I expect a game called Zombies Monsters Robots yes. to look like. I wasn't really sure because the other what you were doing before looked kind of like a generic near future military right. shooter right. kind of deal. But this has got zombies and kind of robots, maybe it's more like cyborgs. But I don't want to split hairs here. This, oh no, that's a spider web, not actually a cloak enemy. me. Get a little paranoid. You know, I should probably stick with some this guy's doing. Guy what throws bombs everywhere. Wow, we are victorious. Wow, we are victorious. Wow, Carolyn. Wow. Wow. We are victorious. This guy. I like that guy. Try that again. See if we can do a little better. We all seem to get along pretty well. We got a good thing going, except for that guy. 
No, I mean, except for her. They were the worst. And her. Sweet camo gas mask dude. That must be his brother. Make kills to earn points. Earn points to unlock different moves. Oh, now we're on the Mercs team. Go here. So this, yes, yeah, so your gear from the the uh, the other mode doesn't carry over to this, doesn't, right? Doesn't doesn't look like it for this mode. Though this mode may be a special circumstance, right? Since it is all predetermined classes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll we'll take a look. We'll do some team deathmatch after this. Let's okay. See. He's the only one. Keep it up. Okay. Spooky. Oh, 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 we got something. We got a live one over here. Oh, good. Oh, good. Everybody is on Team Humans, and two people are on Team Monsters now. This could be a one-sided competition. Okay, now another one. Maybe they're slowly starting to trickle in. If I knew how to switch teams. There we go. Okay, well, they're, they're figuring it out. This is a little one-sided. Now, can we completely spawn camp them? Are they all going to come out from under this area? Yeah, I guess they are. This we did. Oh no! I'm not getting taken. Oh no! Exploding dog. See, that's how you do it. That's how. That's, it, that's how, you how do the it. old exploding dog trick works. That's right. That exploding dog knew what it was doing. Yeah, <laughs> knew just how to explode. You know, I think you might need to play this a little bit. Mm. Experience the majesty. Okay. Oh, there is a gravel noise. No, there's not gravel noise. Oh, that dude's an invisible robot. That is one of my favorite parts of the free-to-play business model that I think gets overlooked by a lot of people is the Ooh. looking at other people and feeling jealous <laughs> about the things that they have. Yes. It's an important part. Yeah. And <laughs> of the free-to-play experience. I, yeah, you know, you look at them and you're like, you know, what have I done with my life? <laughs> right. I don't have that. That guy looks awesome. <laughs> Maybe if I had worked a little harder. Ah, revenge. <laughs> Let him know that I'm really a horrible monster. In Whoa, Ooh. okay. Never mind. The advantage. Yeah, well, we're about to get it back because I'm going to play as one of those sweet invisible robots. Be nice. Oh, yes. dude, that Look is Look at how good this rad. is. <laughs> got, I've got high fives. <laughs> high five people. That dude's pretty awesome. I five this dog, and uh, I can throw blue energy spear. They filled out pretty well. Him tag guys back in there too. Oh, you're gonna charge Ooh, him? Oh, he charged you. Is that just like a one hit? I figured. Yeah, a robot. I did not Maybe expect I'd be a, a yeah, I did not expect a hulking robot to go down quite so easily. Oh, no. All right. Next time I see giant fat white charge this dude. Yeah. I'm not going to just stand. I'm not going to run straight at him. I'm going to mix up my tactics just a little bit. Dude. Never mind. <laughs> I apparently need to go back to PvE. Although, he just got a launch. All right. Playing super conservative now. Watch the radar. It'll be like the wind. Now, are we the orange emblem or are we the green emblem? Uh, you're... Are we somehow winning in spite of my ability to get run over at every opportunity? Okay, here's this one. Okay, you're cool. You're cool. You're cool. You're not. You're going to do something to me. It's going to be bad. You're going to get hung up on the geometry. Ah, all right, there you go. Scored some points there. Scored some points. That really might have been more of a technicality, but I will take it. Oh, 
Oh, what's up? What's up, dude? No, what's up? It's party. Oh, no, this turned into a Ooh. bad scene. This turned into a bad scene. Oh, man. That, that got real ugly real fast. It did get real ugly real fast. Who do we not play? Who do we not play? Guy with shield. Here we go. Oh, it's Metal Shock Stick, dude. Oh, hey. Oh. Live the dream. That's right how the tables you've, have turned. You've been on the receiving end. I've been on the receiving end too long. Yeah. Metal Shock Stick. Oh. Well. I guess Robot Guy with shield is cool, too. Steal my thunder. Oh, oh. Zombie robot lady. What the <laughs> hell? She just pushed that dude <laughs> down. She just pushed him over and he fell. No, she's gone. Oh, this guy will run straight out. Now I wonder if my shield. Oh, he's going to charge. Got my shield. Nope, no. he's the tree block him. Ah. You get one. Dude. The way that you just go down in this game, it just doesn't feel like feel right. What else? In fighting, look, Carolyn. Yeah. I don't know what kind of crazy imaginary world you come from, but when a giant zombie, fat zombie monster charges you, uh huh. Oh, this just goes. It's you right back in it. I, you know, if it ran me over, I don't think I'd be getting back up. Fair enough. Is all I'm saying. Fair enough. But also, you are not a uh, hulking dude with a shield and a sweet, and right, a sweet shield. electrified mace thing. You are a, you are flailing, <laughs> running zombie, though. I think I got a kill. You did. And then I died. I'm going back to exploding, darling. I feel like I really didn't no, get the, to explore the nuances. Yeah, no, exploding dog is great. Exploding dog, he's really good. He's, he's really good. He's so explodey. He's really explodey. I kind of wish the whole game was just dudes with pistols versus zombies with awesome run animation. I really like that setup. Oh, this, I don't like this setup. Though. I'm bailing on this one. The walk over here, this guy. Oh, come uh. on! No, one more. Again. Do it again! We're doing Don't it judge again. me. Now, I wonder when I explode on death, does that also cause damage, or is it just my death animation? Hmm. I would imagine it, it... I would hope it would cause damage to anyone too. standing there. Nope. 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 That guy. Got that guy! Got him. Got that guy. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm saving up for the big one. We're gonna go. We're gonna do the big guy. I think this is dude. What throws exploding gas? Oh, explosive nice. Explosive rock. So two kinds of explosive rock. Actually, I think this is just a swipe. This one is explosive. Rock. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Rise from. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was that was oh. an invisible robot. I don't need to be spending money, I need to be earning. Oh, that is so expensive. It's like way more expensive than any of the other ones. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save up for the big guy, but I'm gonna try. Oh, okay. No, no, not, not doing that. Let's back up. Gauge from afar. Against my old foe. Dude with shield. All right, well, that isn't this guy yet. He can throw spears. Oh, he's the zombie shield guy. He just throw spears. Oh, nice. Oh. What's up, dude? Yeah, no, party time. 84 to 80, the humans have a slight lead over the monster. But maybe my massive size can turn this around. We shall see. Maybe that hit him? Yeah, oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that totally did. Oh, hey, what's hello. up, buddy? Get stabbed. You get stabbed. Oh, 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 he got me. What am I up to now, 8,000? I might be able to get to this. Good enough score that, by the end what, of it. What's 16,000? Yeah, it's 16,000. Yeah. So I need like, well, just under 10,000 more. 
should be easy, right? I guess this is just the party house for this entire map. <laughs> This guy is. Boom. Thousand points. Load up again. We're doing all, exp it's all exploding. Exploding dog is the most fun. Cool. You sure you don't want to get in on this? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm content to watch. Well, how much time do we have? I feel like as, uh, I don't know. Uh, are we... oh, I, meant, I meant more in the match, but oh. also in the stream. As well. well, the match has five minutes and 48 seconds remaining. All right. Ooh! Where's that guy up? Maybe. It was a little vague. So Carolyn, on a yeah. completely unrelated note. Sure. Uh, Ooh! that guy up? Maybe. Damn, hurt him. Basically, okay, hold on. I want to see something. So every time I've exploded... Yeah? Let's go ahead and just explode. Oh, no, they didn't give me anything. Okay, right. every time I've exploded, it's given me a thousand points. So maybe because you're doing damage I was just thinking, or... like, is it just because I'm dying? No, okay. It, it must be because I'm dealing some amount of damage. Like, yeah. There we go. Let's just farm it up. Let's yeah, man, farm you, it up. You're getting there. Peter and I had the best idea. Okay. Day. Did you watch, I mean, did you watch a, a lot of anime growing up? No, not so much, to, to be honest. Okay. Well, as you may not remember, uh -huh. uh, watching anime on VHS tape, was the coolest thing to do. I did a, I did a little bit of that. Yeah. Mostly because you could pay like $30. Uh-huh. I'm sure a lot of people in chat remember this. Well, you could pay $30. Yeah. Get yourself three episodes of Dragon Ball Z. Okay, right. Which was a steal <laughs> at $10 an episode. Right. And, you know, watch it. Yeah, and if you wanted like, I mean, a, you know, a season or whatever of a show mm -hmm. would take up like, you know, three feet of That's right. Space it took up this shelf, whole thing. Right? Because, yeah. yeah. It, because of course, you know, it's like 200 episodes long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got in you three got... episodes per tape. So that's your entire room. Yeah. Um, so what we were thinking uh -huh. is starting a business where, because you know they have anime and it's like on DVD and Blu-ray and stuff, they and do. it's like this is not the way it was meant to be seen. We were thinking we'll, we'll start a back business. To the purity of we'll have you know our DVD or Blue Player or yeah. whatever set up, and we'll hook up a VCR and we'll record the anime yeah. onto On, the, that's, a VHS Because that's the experience people are looking you know, for. Some people like to watch sub, some yeah. people like to watch dub. Mm -hmm. I like to watch yeah. on low quality VHS I like to, tape. you know, you like to have the little, have to do the tracking every yep. now and then, you yep. know. The, it's, everything's a little bit fuzzy. Sometimes it does like this thing, yeah, where it yeah. like flickers up and down. It's a more uh, kind of, User participation experience, right? Because you kind of have to get involved a I know, little bit, you have tweak to, some things. You gotta play with it a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, only three episodes per tape. Right. And we would charge a huge, huge well, overhead. Well, just, you know, to, again, to maintain the authenticity yeah. of the original experience. Because really, I mean, in addition to selling anime, we're also selling, you know, for nostalgia. Bob Jones 1980 still has his DBZ VHS tapes. Nice. Yes. Good for you, Bob Jones. I'm trying to think. Do I? What do I still? Have? I feel like I purged a lot of that a long time ago, and now I, of course, completely regret it. I had some DBZ tapes. Man. It was just mostly DBZ tapes, and like things that I recorded just straight off of the TV. Going back to PVE. Yeah, let's, I was let's having, check that out again. It was a real rough time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the PB. Oh wait, no, we were gonna check. Nah, hold on. We were gonna check Team Deathmatch to see if I could use my bot weapon. Team Deathmatch. Leave the people hanging. We have ladder mode. Oh, it's full. Okay, well, they're full. Well, I mean, we have kill everything, which you might think be en would be enough, but yeah. no. Kill There's everything kill too. Everything too. Depending on your friend. Let's do. Let's do a little torch. Oh no, we're in this hole. Hot damn! Big damn heroes. Hot, oh, hot big damn, damn heroes is the one you were doing. Big before, damn heroes right? is the one I did, but hot yeah. damn looks awfully from that. That rubble-filled hallway looks awfully familiar. What about this? Yeah, maybe it's something we haven't seen before. 
All right. These two dudes who did not bother spending money on sweet SWAT camo. Go ahead and show the Oh, there's gonna be zombies in this one. Double damage. Double damage. Yeah, I like it here. Here we go. Let's cash in those revive tokens and jump right in. Wee. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? What even is that? Frank Adams Memorial Assault Rifle. So it looks like this is going to be. So this was actually. This looks similar to one of the training missions that I did. So it's like barricades. Uh huh. And zombies are going to run up to the barricades okay. and start knocking them down. Sure, sure. You, gotta beat you can't them. repair the barricades. And I'm stuff. not sure. If we're... Ooh. Oh, is that dog going to explode? Okay, no, it didn't. Not sure if we get to repair the barricades. No. Okay. All I know is. Oh, yeah, we do. Let me just uh, get the old wrench. monkey <laughs> wrench here. Don't mind me. Just getting a little work done. Just doing the Lord's work. Uh, this guy. Headshot. Good to go! I like that. Look at this cool dude. Classic. Uh, zombie hospital motif. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> there we go. Just like doing this thing. <laughs> Just hammer it back up there. Just make it look like he's working on it. Uh oh. What, uh, something. Something happened. Did you catch that? I feel like you're not giving it attention. Well, the chat, the chat is just so mesmerizing. Are they blowing it up? Are they blowing it up in chat? Is there a They're ruining all the work I did. Dogs, sweet dogs. F button for melee. Everybody gets a high five. You get a high five. You get a, you don't. You don't. You don't get a high five. Yeah, Carolyn, what do you think of my of Pete's and I, our anime VHS tape idea? Because I really feel like this has got legs. I feel like yeah, this is the yeah. this is the way I could open up an Etsy, an Etsy page. Yeah, see, and that'll exactly. be my whole thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you'd have to pay, give some serious thought to packaging, right? I mean, right, right because the, the box art and that's a that really good point. Was, was a kind of an important part of the experience it as was, well. It was, having a sweet box, and you get so, like the two like kind of blurry screenshots on the back there from your episode. Yeah, so exactly. So I think if you if you get that part of it down, then you might really, really have something. What kind of, uh, I mean, what do you, what do you think? What kind of caught expenditure? I mean, VHS tape is pretty old. Yeah. Um, but then again, you're just making like a little cardboard sleeve. Like, how much is something like that gonna cost? Well, I mean, I, I'm ordering I mean, in bulk, also. Yeah, I mean, for yeah, production. I mean, the, the production of these things. Mm -hmm. I mean, because there there can't be a big market these days for production of VHS packaging, right? It might right. be kind of a so the p people who are doing that for you mm -hmm. might be able to charge something of a premium, right? Because there's, no. you know, where else are you going to go? Yeah, um, unless you can find a way to do that in-house. Um, but I think I could, like, yes. I could like 3D print something like that. Get your 3D printer out and just pop, pop a few of those bad boys out. Oh, man, we are getting all sorts of stuff all of a sudden. What is happening? Got 200 credit points. <laughs> oh, cow. Uh, Not going in there. Goob Shoe Riot in the chat. Oh, Goob Shoe Riot, what's happening? Says, Haha, ha, Maxwell's VHS idea is terrible. Who would want that? Everybody now, would want one, that. That's just one person's perspective, Max. I, uh, wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't put too much, uh, too much stock in that. It's such a good idea. Yeah, I mean, People don't, love don't, my, Look. Don't let naysayers. How just much money have people spent buying, like, NES cartridges right. and Sega Genesis don't, cartridges and whatever? I buy because, that sort of stuff all the time. Just because someone can't see the potential of your dream isn't a reason to, to, to not believe in it, Maxwell. It just doesn't make any sense. Obviously, you know, it originally came out on a VHS format. That was the original. That was the intended way to view it. That's Look, true. you can download Super Mario Brothers on the Wii or whatever yeah, on the virtual console. Yeah. But who wants to do that? No, that's not. The, it's that's no not, fun. You got to yeah. play with the Wii Mote. Yeah. It's and so small. Everyone knows. Yeah. It's just not the game. Yeah. The game loses something if you don't have to blow into an NES that's cartridge right. 17 times. When Miyamoto was going around yeah. in those caves behind his house, 
coming up with The Legend of Zelda. Yeah. He wasn't like, oh boy, I hope I make this game and then people download it years later and play with a teeny tiny controller uh, no, no, and no. everything's terrible. No. no. You wanted people to play it on the cartridge yeah. with the stuff. The way, the way it, it the way was it's meant intended. to be played. So if you want to go back and watch, you know, your Sailor Moon and your Dragon Ball Z, I don't want to hear about Hulu. I don't want to hear about, oh, it's available free. You can get it on Netflix yeah. streaming, whatever. Redbox. No, forget Redbox. You don't even get a box. You just get the sleeve that the disc comes in. Thanks for nothing. Great idea, Carolyn. Of course it is, Max. I would never <laughs> dream of saying otherwise. He got me all worked up. I'm sorry. I never, I never should have shared Goof Shoe Riots. I can't. I just, I can't. I know. I, can't. I know. Where are we now on these? We're on wave seven. Is it seven of just until we die? I sure hope not. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, normally these modes, you yeah. know, I think feel like they end at like ten or fifteen. That you know, they pick sense. a kind of a. Nice round nice number. number to, yeah, to end on. I need to get these daggers. Double damage! High five! You get high five. You get high five! Oh, it's a little, it's a little, so, it's a little froggy in here. Okay. So here, is Red Tone 6 asks regarding your uh, business idea, Max. My, ben, my business venture. Is your he business looking venture. to invest? Because I'm still seeking angel investors for well, anime, I think, sweet I mean, anime VHS. So before okay, he, I'm sorry. I, yes. I think he has questions before okay. it, he can answer that, and his right. question is now is would you consider doing Betamax tapes as well? But here's my thing about that is yeah, you're, the Betamax yeah. format mm -hmm. I think had kind of already fallen by the wayside by the before the anime boom happened in the U.S. Right, so I don't think that series like Dragon Ball Z and all, so on were really ever available popularized or even that. available okay. on the Betamax Ooh. format. So that would kind of run contrary to the whole spirit of I think what your what your venture is. That's right. I mean I personally I'm gonna have to take a hard stance on this. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with a, a if it came out on that format originally, then that's something to consider. I mean right. I wanna I I wanna start with VHS just because that's what I'm familiar with, that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm gonna start there as sort of a jumping off point. Yeah. And then, you know, if we pick up some traction, we're able to bring on some more people, like expand it a little bit, then I'll consider like, oh okay, we wanna you wanna you wanna get some laser disc in there, you wanna get some uh, you wanna get some Betamax, you yeah. wanna get some, you know, sure. your what have you. You know, we'll think about that. But if the show didn't originally come out on that format, then I really don't see the point. because that I mean I mean, then where, where do you draw the line at that point? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, if you could, you know, if he wants to check and, you know, you could tell me. If it did come out on that format, then yeah, yeah, we'll be happy to put that on the, <laughs> on the old to-do. But otherwise, I'm going to have to, you know, have to agree to disagree. <laughs> if you just get in this elevator, I feel like it would make our lives a lot easier. Quiet, please. Neuro, testing. neuro slash sleep, sleep, sleep testing. testing in progress. Neuro testing. People are not really on board with using. I feel like a real misstep on it. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, and it's kind of the idea of a flamethrower. Yeah. You, kinda, you really, really got to put your back into it. It's a flamethrower more in idea than in practice. <laughs> In practice, it's really just kind of a heat cone, <laughs> like one of those low-level Dungeons and Dragons spells. Cone of cold. This is cone of heat. Burn away that fog, you know. It looks like we are a minute thirty out from the end. I guess. I guess it's just complete however much you can. In the time limit given. No, see, because now wave 10 started oh, and the Oh, it did, clock, and the timer went away. So, yeah, it's just like you have to finish each wave within a time limit. Maybe it does never end. Maybe I will just end it after wave 10. Or if the now, if it does not, time. If it doesn't have the decency to end yeah, to itself. to end at wave 10. Just <laughs> then we will go ahead and put a fork in it. Did you watch Toonami at all? He? No. Sailor Moon? DBZ? No. I mean, it's really the only things that could be classified as anime that I've watched are 
films like Miyazaki films, oh, okay. uh, you know, Akira, of course, I've seen mm -hmm. Akira. Mm -hmm. Now, did, when you um, saw Akira, did you, were you able to see it at the Cool Kids College campus? Some sort of like, some sort of screening on a college campus? I, yes, in fact. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never got to do that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was actually required viewing uh, for, uh, for, yeah, for a class that I took in yeah. college, and, and it was shown in a proper movie theater, That's essentially, awesome. on campus. Um, so yeah, yeah, that was, that was a pretty great experience. I did, I did a, I did a, actually, the theater appreciation course I took was one of my favorite courses in college, both because you got to watch movies in class and because there was a lot of interesting discussion. Oh, it did end at wave 10. Hooray. Hey, victory. victory. Way to go. We did it. And I'm glad that the game had the decency to, to end there. To, end to know that it had gone on, gone on long enough. Woo! What time is it, Carolyn? Well, Max, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. It is 3.02 here on the West Coast. Pacific time. Yeah. We're getting the wrap it up twisty finger. Yeah. Folks, thank you for spending an hour of your time with us. I'm Maxwell McGee here with Carolyn Pettit. We've been playing Zombies, Monsters, Robots, which you is in open beta right now, and you can check out for yourself at playzmr.com. Drink a little water. Oh, that is good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Okay. You folks have a good rest of the week and have a safe Fourth of July holiday. Have some fun, but be safe. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.